Now that most households are meant to have received their postal surveys, the campaigns for and against same-sex marriage are employing more vigorous techniques to win. The Yes case has bombarded tens of thousands of mobile phones with text messages, while the No camp is rallying its supporters, arguing society's at risk of succumbing to communist agendas. Here's National Affairs Correspondent Greg Jennett. Australian Christian. The No campaign's nothing if not determined. Just stay calm and stay quiet. Let security do their job. Thank you. Through repeated provocation... It persevered. Would you give free speech rights to Nazi Germany fascists? Would you? Even exhortations to torch churches were ignored. As it stuck unerringly to its core arguments. The Marxists are on their march through this civilization. The invasion of its launch was tolerable. But the messaging of its phones was taken as a dangerous dissent in campaigning. How invasive how deceptive and how very, very wrong. The official Yes team had dialed up tens of thousands of phone users with a text message advocating a vote. Reception varies. I just thought it wasn't really their place to sort of decide that for us. I think uh, they should just leave it alone. Were you surprised at all that they sort of had your number? Yes, I wondered how they got that. I guess I get messages all the time from pretty random things, so... Um... Yeah. I understand that people are frustrated about receiving a text message. Uh, we're frustrated about having our dignity put to a postal survey. On phone or on foot, yeah, the, their their life until the TV cameras around. <laughs> the Yes campaign's aiming to reach millions of households to get out the vote. Its arguments and St Paul's letter to the Corinthians have persuaded another senior Liberal. He says faith, hope and love, and the greatest of these is love. And on that basis, I voted yes. And its techniques are endorsed by Labor. The No campaign saying, oh, it's really unfair that people are urging a yes vote. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. We didn't want this, but we've now got a campaign for it. Mobile phones are the digital campaign flyers of modern elections, and messaging through them will only increase, which is why this parliament's already recommended a legal regime to cover electronic campaigning. And for the record, commercial operators with large databases full of numbers and not telcos or government agencies are responsible for sending the texts. Greg Jennett, ABC News, Canberra.